Well, Halloween wasn't the only scary thing to happen this October. If we look at the Guelph housing market, it appears to have made another turn this month. After what appeared like two months of housing prices leveling off, we experienced a 5% drop in the average sale price from September to October this year. What's even more shocking is if we compare this October to October of last year, we're down 14%. Now, why so much? Well, what happened last October in 2021 is we actually experienced an 11% increase in the average sale price. And that was the first month where the average sale price for detached houses actually surpassed a million dollars. However, condominiums did buck the trend of declining prices this month, and condos actually went up 7% from last month. The number of sales is also very low, with this October having the fewest amount of sales to transpire in over a decade. We'll likely see both the number of sales and prices decline slightly as we go through November and into December, which is normal for this time of year. The high interest rates have taken a toll on our market, and I'm anticipating that we're going to see prices start to go up um, or at least remain flat throughout the first quarter of 2023. Now, we still have extremely low inventory with only 1.7 months supply. And once we start seeing interest rates go back down, we're gonna see our demand increase substantially. And at that point, I think we're gonna see prices start to go up quite quickly. And that could happen as soon as the second half of 2023. On October 26th, the Bank of Canada did their sixth interest rate increase to 3.75%. There's another announcement on December 7th for the next interest rate increase, and people are speculating that we're going to see another 25 to 50 basis point increase. Many economists believe that we are approaching the end of the interest rate increases and that we're going to be going into a recession in early 2023. Shortly after we go into a recession, they're likely going to have to start decreasing interest rates. So if you're a homeowner right now with a variable mortgage, hang in there. Likelihood is it's not going to last that much longer. First-time buyers, investors, and people looking to upsize, this is a great time to purchase, provided you do have stable employment. Since the condo market is doing so well right now, it's a great time to sell a condo and upsize to a detached house. If you're somebody who's looking to purchase and wondering if you should go variable or fixed, at this point, I would recommend going variable as it's likely that we're gonna see the rates start to drop back down in 2023 and 2024. I'm Brad Wild from Go Wild Real Estate, a group of professionals who are passionate about helping people build their wealth with real estate.